this is a, a, a lawsuit that, if Nintendo wins, is really bad for gaming in general. Hal World took the world by storm this February, reaching insane player number counts and getting praised for being such a wonderfully fun game to play. Despite that though, it also garnered a lot of hate, mainly for its copying of certain character designs. The controversy blew over and no one really cared after a week or two, but something happened just yesterday. Pocket Pair, the developers behind Pal World, tweeted about getting a lawsuit filed against them. They stated that they're disappointed and ha sad to have to put in a lot of effort in fighting this lawsuit instead of developing the game further. They severely appreciate the support that they keep on getting though. Now when we look further in this, we find out that this lawsuit was actually filed by Nintendo who we all know made Pokemon. What is the lawsuit really about? Rumor has it's all about the character designs. A lot of people talk about this, you know, Pocket Pair having these pals, these characters that look a lot like the Pokemon in Pokemon. This is also what a lot of the discourse of Pal World was about, but the lawsuit isn't about that at all. All, it's about something really, and I mean really bad. This is a, a, a lawsuit that, if Nintendo wins, is really bad for gaming in general, damaging uh, to a new le level. The lawsuit seeks, and I'm going to read this here, an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the grounds that PAL World infringes multiple patent rights. Now, what does that mean, right? Nintendo was able to get a patent, which they filed in May this August. So this August, the 22nd of August, they got their patent and it's not even been a month and they sue Powell. The patent, however, is basically for a game mechanic Pokemon uses where a round object like a Pokeball or in Pal, I don't remember the name of it, but also a round object is used uh, and thrown in order to catch a character. Now, I went on Twitter and I found Grums talking about this and saying something that really made a lot of sense. So let me read it here for you. Pal World exploded on the scene in February. The patent about Pokeballs is filed in May and the patent granted in August. Nintendo sues Pal World the following month. Folks, this is Nintendo using Lawfare to try to kill an indie studio that embarrassed them by creating a better Pokemon style game than they did and I don't support it. After all these years, they only just filed the patent this year. Coincidence? He makes a lot of sense when he says this, right? There, it is no con coincidence that the one time that a game reaches new heights that is close looking to Pokemon, that they all of a sudden make a patent that is like this. It is a bad thing. It is already bad enough that they got a patent in the first place. It is not the first time the Nemesis system of Shadow of Mortar and Shadow of War are also patented and haven't been used since. And it's been a hell because it's one of the coolest systems ever. But now we have this also being added. So any other game that would ever in their entire lifetime or any developer that would want to make a game where you throw a round object to catch something as you do in Pokemon would now be able to get a lawsuit filed against them. I think this ruins a lot of different ideas. It makes it so that certain game design and certain game mechanics just cannot be made. Nintendo, like I said, should not win this because if they do, it is over so for so many indie studios, starting with Pocket Pair. Mechanics will get claimed by the big guys like EA and uh, Ubisoft. Nintendo will get a bunch of them. And they tried this before with Tears of the Kingdom, but it didn't really work out too well. An indie studio would have to pay insane amounts of monies to use either these mechanics or they wouldn't be allowed to use these mechanics which means if they ever do or come too close they can just get a lawsuit filed against them and again lose a bunch of money i found another tweet here it's a news article where pal world or at least the developers pocket pair are saying well they will fight nintendo's lawsuit to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas so it's beautiful to see that pocket pair is standing their ground against a company as big as nintendo Nintendo. My heart is with them. I really, really, really hope that they can win this. But we all know that Nintendo has some insane lawyers and this isn't going to be an easy feed. Uh, there's two ways that this can really go. It will mean the downfall of Pocket Pair, like I said. It will mean the downfall of, I think, game design or games as we know them right now. There's a lot of bad things that come with this. We know the industry, more companies, more big companies, like I said, like EA and Ubisoft, will see this. They'll see, wait, 
Nintendo want this? Well, we're start patenting all bunch of stuff. Ubisoft might patent the whole like, oh, you have a tower that unlocks the whole area of the game that you can see more of the map of. They'll patent that. And then EA will patent, I don't know, loot boxes because they might actually do that. Who knows? This is, like I said, the beginning. This, this might be the beginning of the end of gaming as we know it. It could also mean that we fight back and that we win and then we actually have like a way to fight back against these big companies being so money hungry. But to me, it is very, very insane how a company like Nintendo can come over here and just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna file a lawsuit after months, right? They're petty enough that it takes them months, but of course they had to wait for their patent. And their only true competitor right now, it sold like 2 million copies in a week. Week. Their only big competitor right now is getting a lawsuit filed against them by them instead of Nintendo actually making a good Pokemon game, right? Because that would be too much effort for them. I don't know how much they pay their lawyers, but they should pay him like 10 times more because god damn, they do a whole lot of work. Nintendo ruined Yuzu not too long ago, uh, a Switch emulation system, which was just already too bad for emulators. Um, that's preservation of games, and that is a whole different video. But Nintendo has, of course, already shown so many times their true colors, what they're capable of. The fact that they're doing this instead of saying, we're sorry for making a bad game, we're sorry for delivering a Pokemon game, let you, me remind you, not too long ago that was so filled with bugs. You could catch, I think you could catch the bugs more than you could catch the Pokemon in that game. And that's how bad it really was. And now we're here, we're seeing a game that is fun. A lot of people love it. It's garnered its hate. You know, it's all about the designs. Who cares? Honestly, nobody, nobody really does care like the people who play it. And now we look and we see this happening like this isn't good anyhow that is that is pretty much what i wanted to talk about in this video it's something that i saw it pass by just now i needed to talk about this because this is definitely something that i want to hear you guys talk about as well so you've got your opinion leave it down in the comments below please let me know what you think i want to know if people are against this or for this because let's be honest here we are going to end up ruining gaming if nintendo wins this um while you're down there though uh, i make videos like this twice a week where i talk about different things gaming i give a lot of gaming commentary and news so subscribe for more. Now I made sure to be fast and factual in this video, unlike a lot of gaming journalists nowadays. Now I did talk about that in a different video that you can find right here. So I'd say check it out and I'll see you there.